Hi, my name is Connor Mead, and I'm here today at the 2017 Canadian Science Policy Conference. And joining me today is Dr. Linda Rabinick, Professor of Medicine at the U of T and the President of the Canadian Academy for Health Sciences. So Linda, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you. Thank you very much, Connor. So to get us started off, I wonder if you could tell us a little bit about the Canadian Academy of Health Sciences. Uh, what makes it important and what makes it unique? Sure. Well, the Canadian Academy of Health Sciences began uh, in 2005. Uh, we're one of the three founding member academies of the Council of Canadian Academies, or the CCA, along with the Royal Society of Canada and the Canadian Academy of Engineers. So one of the three founding members. And uh, this is our first time uh, attending this conference, so we're delighted to be here. Uh, we have uh, 650 very talented uh, fellows who were elected to the Canadian Academy of Health Sciences on the basis of the excellence of their science and importantly, uh, their commitment uh, and covenant actually to serve uh, the country in terms of advancing the uh, health policy, evidence-based health policy. Um, and we, uh, in addition to this tremendous resource of 650 fellows, uh, we uh, produce uh, a number of products, but I would say the, uh, the signal uh, product of ours is a major assessment, and we've uh, done nine of these, and uh, they've been on major topics uh, uh, concerned with the health of Canadian, the Canadian people. And um, I would, one of our early ones uh, was led by the late Cy Frank, and it was an assessment of the impact of investments in health research on uh, uh, the health of the population, how you assess that and how you measure the impact of health science. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So th that is definitely something that, that we all agree is one of the, uh, the greatest challenges of evidence-based right. policy and probably particularly in the field of health innovation. Mm -hmm. um, so although we only have a few minutes, uh, can you tell us uh, how, what is the CAS framework for measuring uh, health innovation impacts? Mm -hmm. uh, how, how, do, how can we do it right? Well, one of the key uh, insights uh, in the work is, you, broadly speaking, you could think of two ways of measuring the impact of someone's research or a piece of research. One is on um, um, whether it changes how we deliver health care or how we deliver interventions to improve population health. That's one big basket of impacts. And the other big basket is, of course, whether it changes how we think whether it changes mm -hmm. our paradigms and ways of thinking about challenges in population health and, and the delivery of health care. And so there are two broad, broad categories. It was hugely impactful and very helpful uh, in the field, and it remains so today. I think it's the leading framework, uh, certainly in Canada and used beyond. And many scientists will use it uh, when they're framing their research to, uh, to uh, help others understand what the benefits are of a piece of research, for example. Mm -hmm. um, so we're very proud of the work, um, and it was one of our most impactful uh, major assessments. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm, I'm very much anticipating your panel this afternoon on artificial intelligence. Mm. Uh, I wonder if you could share your thoughts on how artificial intelligence uh, might uh, impact health research and health innovation. Well, I think artificial intelligence is, uh, is uh, promising. It's an hypothesis. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that it will probably take a um, decade or two to really begin to realize uh, its, its impact. Uh, but when that happens, uh, as it evolves over time and as it happens, I actually think that the major assessment we just talked about will be helpful in assessing you know, uh, the investments that will be needed to drive the AI forward in health. Uh, it will help us assess the impacts of, of uh, those investments. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Uh, so I know this is uh, your organization's first time uh, attending CSPC. Right. So I wonder if you could just share uh, what, what is the value you hope to get out of it and, and what's your experience been so far? Right. Well, the experience has been terrific uh, in the short time I've uh, been here. Uh, I mentioned that the Canadian Academy of Health Sciences began in 2005, so we're only 12 years old. We began the same year as the Council of Canadian Academies. And um, after this uh, time with our volunteer uh, uh, time and effort of our tremendous talented fellows, that we have this unique resource uh, where we 
uh, harness the volunteer efforts of our, uh, of our fellows to help address these uh, major issues fa facing, facing the health of Canadians. We've now um, hired our inaugural executive director, Eleanor Fast. She's based here in Ottawa and she's beginning to reach out to other organizations and um, develop relationships and partnerships. So really, I would, it's fair to say we're upping our game, mm -hmm. both in terms of recruitment of our new executive director and actually having a presence at this conference. It was very strategic and deliberate on our part and starting to uh, help shine a spotlight on who we are and what we can do. So we do appreciate very much being uh, having you talk to us about this. Hey, we, we greatly appreciate you joining us. Uh, so my last question before we wrap up, uh, for those viewers at home who are interested in learning more about some of the topics we've discussed, right. uh, what's the best place to learn more about, uh, about CAS's work in health innovation, um, yeah. those topics? Well, we have a, a terrific website. Uh, we've just uh, reorganized it and we're very proud of it. And if you go on the website, you can see our Twitter feed ru running up the right-hand column, and you can see all of our major assessments and click on them, and you can uh, download a copy and, and, and so forth. You can also check to see who our, who our fellows are and, and so forth. So um, I would encourage people to go check out the website. Excellent. Well, Professor Rappin, thank you so much for joining us. It's been an absolute pleasure thank chatting. You. Thank you so much, Connor.